Oh, here's the 2022 dump field. We've got it 90% mowed. We left some five foot wide strips throughout the field. We'll come back and mow them at a later date. But uh, as far as the field itself, it's mowed. I got plenty of bare ground and their seed from what I'm seeing <coughs> all over the ground. Let's see if I can find this in the viewfinder. Yeah. There's a stalk with seed on it and then there's just seed everywhere. It's kind of hard to see being a light color and the dirt's light but the birds seem to know it's here. Uh, a friend of mine that's about a mile north of here. Oh, there's a bird on the wire. Let's see if I can capture him. There it is. There's a dove sitting on the wire. Mad at me for being out here. Oh, I lost it. There it is. I've seen a good bit of dove fly over today while we were out here mowing. Uh, one thing that I did is I came back with the lawnmower and blew a lot of this thatch off to the side and that's why this is relatively clean right in here. Got a lot of bare dirt for the birds to land and they can walk around and get a bunch of seed. But these rows of thatch like this right here I can come back later, run over them with the mower again, blow them to the other side, and they'll spread even more seed because uh, the seed is still on the stalks in that thatch, and it's uh, some of it's falling off uh, as it dries out even more. It'll drop, but. Uh, There's a thatch here with seed all on it. And then you got the plants that are standing. The brown top's done. This is brown top here. It's done. Uh, and it just drops thousands of seeds. And then the Dub Proso, a lot of it's ending up. Uh, as well is dropping not as much as the brown top but it's still been over drying out and dropping seed so me and my friend did a lot of mowing today we had a issue. He mowed a lot of this right in here, but the mower was not level. So when he finished, I told him I was going to have to go back over it once I leveled the mower up. But we went ahead and leveled it, and he hopped back on it and come back out and passed back over everything. It looks good where he went back over it. There is thatch out here, but uh. There's plenty of bare ground for the birds as well. And like I said, I'll come back. I may come back uh, this week and hop on the riding mower and come out and blow some of this thatch around. Uh, blow it off to one side and uh, expose more seed on the ground. There's a bunny rabbit. There it goes. Two of them. There's one right there. Another one's right over there. I've got quail out here. Uh, this morning, well, I say this morning, it's around 11 o'clock. Let me bring y'all back in. 
I come up right here. This feeder wasn't here. I just moved it over here to get it off the field. Uh, and it doesn't have anything in it. It's empty. But I pulled up right here on the tractor. And there goes a dove now. But uh, 15 dove got up just on the other side of that little oak bush thing right there. So they had been in here this morning. They were just back there loafing and getting some grit, I guess. Um, but I went in there and mowed that again, and I moved that feeder. The feeder was out in the field, and I moved it over there to get it out of the way. But there's another quail. There goes the bunny rabbit. There's a dove, and there's two right there. Hoping y'all can see that. There's one at the top of my tree that I like to sit under. Right there. There he goes. I can't keep up with him. But anyway, there's birds out here. Not a lot right now, but then again, we just mowed it. And uh, I thought before I head back to the house, I'd take you on a little tour. I still did get some crabgrass this year. You can see a big clump of it right here. And the problem with this, there is some millet in there, not a lot, but uh, it creates a lot of thatch and it's a problem in a dove field. You don't want this at all, but see up here in this row, it's mostly just millet. And you see there's a bare spot in there and the seed will drop in that bare spot and the birds will come in and get that. But uh, yeah, about five or six feet wide all the way down. And it's full of seed. So I've got plenty more seed on the ground, or that can be put on the ground for a later shoot. But I do know that there's just seed everywhere and the dove have already started coming in. We sat there after we finished and watched about 20 birds, you know, ones and twos. and there was a group of five or six at one time coming through so oh the thing that my friend told me he's got a field about i think it's a mile north of here straight that way up the creek uh, he's got same thing millet he's got a little bit of sunflower but the guy that's between us which is only uh maybe a quarter to a third of a mile north he plants sunflowers every year and he has a great shoot and when he's shooting sometimes the birds come up here and sometimes they don't but thing is he told me that a guy that works for him sprayed the wrong thing on all of his plants and killed everything he's got so he didn't get a sunflower patch this year unfortunately uh, so I guess he will not be shooting I'm, uh, I'm interested to see how that's going to affect us there's a that's uh, a ground dove turtle dove see a lot of those out here too but anyway this be the field five acres we planted a little late, planted middle of June, should have planted last weekend, May at least. Been better off. We could have cut sooner. This We got one week and the season opens. Oh, so next Saturday, today's Saturday, next Saturday, we'll be out here trying to shoot some birds. Um, and maybe I can get some footage of that. I'm not real good with uh, trying to hunt and get footage too, but 
we'll give it a try and uh, we'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully it'll go pretty good. One other thing that we have I can show you real quickly since I'm here is all these windrows are full of what's called pulkweed and poke berries and the dove loved them too so we mowed right up to them I, of course I'm I've got purple spots all over me from doing that but hopefully the birds can enjoy those as well but until then I'm gonna there's a dove Right there, in my tree that I sit under. Right there. And there goes some other birds. But that's a dove right there. Waiting on me to leave. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to let you guys go, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes.